Welcome back, everyone. Going into hour three. What did I interrupt, by the way? You guys are chuckling. Uh, uh, Ryan doesn't know which way north is. Yeah, <laughs> Neil goes. So what? What direction are the back of your uh, are your windows facing? And I was like, oh, it's like the back of my house. And he's like, no, like what cardinal direction? I was like, dude, I have. I how do, I supposed to know that? I don't know. <laughs> I guess that's like a thing. And then he's like, where does the sun set? And I said, not north. <laughs> Well, the sun isn't set. The world's flat. Next point. Uh huh. Yeah. Thank behind you. behind the ice wall is the answer where the sun sets. <laughs> Jeff, what are you eating? <clears throat> Trail mix. It's really good. I got a peanut butter sure, sandwich. Yeah. I've realized, by the way, before we start playing, I spent an extra dollar on crustless bread. Did you guys know that? You can buy bread that doesn't have crust. Just buy the crust. <sighs> I'm okay with crust. Can you it's just buy crust? Yeah. No, they cut it off. They no one wants crust on me. Do you get do you get one dollar off if you take with extra crust? I don't know. I don't know where the crust goes. They don't have it for some reason. Why is there only crust bread? That'd be amazing. Why isn't there? Um, there's some pretty nasty breads out there, man. <laughs> My girlfriend gets bread with like seeds on the crust, and I'm like, just put that shit away. Give me some. <laughs> Those are called muffins, some... right? No, nah, I don't need that, man. <laughs> All right, we're going in the tomb. Jesus. All right, it is initiative time. Uh, the bandits go first, or at least one of the bandits goes first. Um, and she is going to come to here. Hey, here. Um, the next of the bandits goes and gets a little bit closer to where you guys might be and calls out, Vanderhorns, we got your gold! We got your gold! Come and get it! Uh, Gaston, it's your turn. Aha! Uh -huh. I'm gonna cast sleep. Your favorite spell, Neil. It is my favorite spell in all of existence. <laughs> what do I do for that? Roll me 5d8, and that is how many hit points of creatures the spell can affect. So I, I manually roll it, right? Yes. I mean... Oh, wait. <clears throat> you can also it. my surge of... <laughs> Wild magic. Oh, yes, please. Oh. <gasps> God damn it. <laughs> All of 32. Oh. 68. I am frightened by the nearest creature until the next turn. <laughs> Is that what that means? All right, well, if that's the case, then I think your sleep spell gets interrupted. I think you're casting it. A wild surge goes off, and the nearest creature to you is Rowan. And you oh. look at Rowan... And tell me, why, why are you so terrified of Rowan? He's, like, so big and muscular. It's, like, a oh. reflection of me that's, like... Rowan? No, no, Rowan? that's Rowan. Crap, I thought Peter for a second. Peter. He's so small and puny. I'm not puny, <laughs> I got, like, like 12. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, the opposite of me. It's He's like, so smart is the answer. Yeah. It's, like, it's, like, freaking me out. It's, like, a little mouse trying to, like, Get into my pants or something. <laughs> what? <laughs> Your spell stops halfway through. You don't Neil lose the spell same. slot for this. Um, it, it, it almost fizzles, but not quite. But you are frightened of Peter for the next minute. <laughs> God. I guess would oh, I wait, run? No, until the end like... of your next turn. Oh. Until the end of your next turn. Um, the fright frightened is an actual condition yeah. here in oh. the game um it has very specific uh, a very specific okay. meaning if i can dig it up uh frightened means what i don't see it oh here it is a creature has disadvantage on ability checks and attack rolls while the source of fear is within line of sight the creature can't willingly move closer to the source of its fear so you can't get closer to rowan and you've got disadvantage and all these things and you just stop mid mid spell casting Actually Someone says, I don't know if it's true, but they say, well, magic surges don't stop or take place of a spell. It's like a... Don't listen top. to them. I'm the DM. I okay. will override the rules Boom. all the time. Perfect. Scrubs. So uh, I hide? No, they're what on the I island, do? Neil. They're not in chat. Can I Can I help you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, so what do you do, Jen? You start casting the spell, and, oh. then, and then Rowan's terrifying you. I go... <laughs> Brother, what are you? <laughs> Brother, get back here and fight, you coward. 
Well, Gaston's doing something. I don't understand it. He thinks I'm going to mouse climbing into his pants. I don't get it. <laughs> uh, Braggy, it's your turn. Braggy, it's Buggy. Buggy, it's your turn. <laughs> it's Baggy. Ba is it Baggy or Buggy? <laughs> I don't... It's all three. Okay. Um, all right. Can I shoot this guy? Totally. I okay, think he's that's... within range of you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> that is what I would like to do. Yeah, you notice that guy is not particularly <laughs> well armored. <clears throat> he's got like some. He's got like a leather shirt on, and that's about it. Uh, but despite that, your bow or your arrow goes and kind of flaccidly lands on the ground a few feet away from him. All right, uh, I'll take my horde breaker and attack Ooh. the guy next to him. Very nice. Uh, he's going to have 25% cover from you, so a minus one to hit? Something like that? Go ahead and okay. make it. <laughs> hey, Ryan, when it's red, it means you rolled a one. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> uh, so minus one is a zero? Uh, no, no, so it's a natural one is the total, yeah. uh, is the, the, the roll that you That's made. The, it's the first think, one. I think because you rolled a one with your bow, I'm actually going to ask you to make a death save here. Um, that's just a flat d20. A 10 or above is a pass. Nine or below is a fail. What's another one, Neil? I don't know. All right. Okay. Your, your arrow lands. Your, your bow kind of snaps out of your hand, uh, but you, fum you pick it up before you manage to drop it all the way to the ground. Perfect. Not this time. Not this time. Uh, the next bandit goes... And he's just going to back up. He comes back here to the side and starts taunting you. Van Horns, I think I stole your parents' teeth. They had little bits of gold in them. God. These assholes. Uh, Pater. Hey, Pater, before you go in, hold an action. I'll cast a spell on you, and then you can go in. I was, like, about to. And I look at Rowan, and I go, Rowan, do your work. <laughs> <laughs> I'll uh I wanna, I wanna cast bless. Alright. Go for it. I cast bless on us. Thir does to, Gaston get it? Up to three creatures of your choice. Yep. So you keep it to Gaston or yourself. Um <clears throat> I'll give it to Gaston. Alright. Oh, character is such a nice man. Whenever or you I'm sure who's nice. Attack roll, same <laughs> All right. Uh, Pater, I think you were, were waiting to have that spell cast before you charged in. Yeah, he. do I feel it or anything like that? Oh, yeah. Uh, why don't you... Rowan, why don't you describe to me the feeling that Pater gets as you bless him? <laughs> uh, I put my hands up and make a V for Vanderhorns. And when like Pete, when, yeah, no, like this, like this, the V thing. Oh, like this. Yeah, okay. like that thing. Like that. When, uh, when Pater says for the Vanderhorns, it, it does nothing, but he's emulating me because when I say it, magical stuff happens. So I say for the Vanderhorns, make the, the symbol and everyone's blessed. All right. Well, I measured it, Neil. Okay. You, you move 30 feet. Um, um, with blessed. Eight. Yeah, you can take your action to move another 30 feet, but then you wouldn't be able to make any attacks. Well, okay. Or you could throw a hand axe, maybe? No, I go 30 feet. I'm just right. I, I just, they just hear it bouncing off the walls. Vanderhorn! When, when I see Rowan doing that, I'm like imagining that his hands have like merged into weird little paws, and I'm like, Jesus! So I'm going to go another 30 feet. <laughs> All right, do it. <laughs> Nobody's ready. <laughs> Because you're frightened, right? Yeah, I, yeah, I think I'm frightened. just. I think I'm just staring I'm at. Like, you. he's like turning into a like weird sea creature thing. All right, <laughs> the next bandit in line. There's my little bandit marker. Uh, the next bandit in line pulls out a crossbow from her side uh, that was dangling off of her, aims it at Peter, and takes a shot. Hey. It is a 12 to hit you, Peter. That 
actually boosts my health up about 12. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you get a temporary 1 HP from that. Uh, okay. The next bandit comes in and wildly proclaims that I'm going to take your corpse and I'm not going to put it in the tomb. And, uh, <laughs> as we clash blade, we go, we're already in the tomb. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay. Uh, the robed figure in the back takes a few steps forward, uh, points a finger at Pater, and where is that spell? Parts. For the tomb robbers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, everyone on. He goes like this. <laughs> everyone on Gay Island. Uh, sorry, sorry, Gay Island. Uh, <laughs> Shouts out who they represent before yeah. they do anything. <laughs> it's for the two uh, The cult's fanatic points at Pater and commands you to uh, strip, he says as he points at you. Ooh. You need to make me a wisdom saving throw or you must follow the command okay. of strip. Uh, you need... You need to make an 11 on a wisdom saving throw. So if you're on your character sheet, <laughs> you figured it out, didn't you? Mm. All right. We're going to have to roll for, uh, what, a, a d4? No. <laughs> no. Uh, you, you, the spell only takes effect for six seconds, so I don't know how far you can get with I this mean, action in six seconds. But what, What's the save number, by the way? He has a D4 that he could add to that if a nine's going to pass. He needs to make an 11. Oh, fucking Christ. All right, never mind. You can roll yeah. the D4 for something else, though. He says that. Strip. I start picking up my lower parts first. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you leave your sword in your hand while you do it, or do you put yeah. that down for safety? Neil, are you, are you being a, a metaphorical sword, or what are you saying? <clears throat> sword oh, my hand. God. All right. Here, I'm going to roll a D8, because I think that's the most realistic thing. I think 2D4 will give you a better distribution, but... <laughs> it's impressive. <laughs> uh, the next bandit comes up and hangs out right here in front of Pater, but that stops is. short of her attack <laughs> and says, What the hell did you make him do, Willis? This is no way to fight! Um, the next guy just As he said laughing. That, I keep, I'm still taking off parts. I'm like, you wait one second, man. Where I get fully naked. <laughs> <You'll>... <laughs> oh, shit. You don't want to fight him naked. He gets, <clears throat> he gets down and dirty when he gets naked. You tomb You're robbers. You're very mighty when you. <laughs> we're, we were born this way. That's how some of us are going to die. That's what my pop, that was one of his parabellums that he would preach to the everyone <laughs> the thug before you with a, a mace on a chain kind of just lowers the mace and looks back over his shoulder and says that ain't in the spirit of maribel what the hell are you doing um and it's gaston's turn do i get it? oh you were saying the d4 was because i was blessed right that's what i could add to it or whatever yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah but it didn't do anything but blessed lasts for a minute right uh yeah 10 rounds uh, Gaston, it's your turn. You are no longer frightened. You've regained oh. your composure. He's not that puny after all. I'm not like I a mouse, I... Gaston. Get over here and help us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I guess I'll just move back here. Okay. All right, I see the light. I'm going to try casting sleep again. <laughs> <laughs> all right, roll me a d6 first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exciting. Well, wow. hundred. Four. Uh, For the next minute, you can see any invisible creature if you have line of sight to it. Nice. Very oh nice. my god. Is there any invisible creatures, Neil? No. Uh, but please do roll me the whatever you need for your sleep spell. I think it's like five d six or something. I should double check that before I. Uh, you can click the spell. Uh, Ooh, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. 5d8. Does that work? 22, yeah. Yes, it is. You affect 22 hit dice worth I have 90 of creatures. Feet. Yeah, and I have 90 feet of range. Oops, sorry. So I'm gonna... Starting with the creature that has the lowest current hit points, each creature 
affected by the spell falls unconscious until the sleep ends. The sleep if the sleeper takes damage or someone else uses an action to shake or slap okay. the speaker awake. Okay, so twenty two hit points. Uh, let's find out. So I would start it here. That would be the that's exactly ninety feet, I think. So it starts with the big guy. At the back. Um, it starts with whoever has the lowest HP, actually. Oh, but I'm aiming the center of the thing. Sure. Here. So who has the lowest? Oh, God, you guys have terrible HP. Uh, you get 22. All right. This person's asleep. Oh, no. This person's asleep. That's not my friends, right? That's the and enemy. No, those are the enemies. Those three people uh, just kind of... No, two people. Those two people pass out. <laughs> And then uh, I scream, what's r r r r r wrong with you, huh? Okay, uh, Batty Vanderhorn, is your turn. All right, um, I'm attacking this guy right here. Mm. With an 11, that's a hit. That's a hit, for sure. Ooh, nice, eight points of damage. Uh, the thug snaps out of his, like, delusion that you guys aren't actually a threat and uh, wakes up to the damage. Okay, and then I'll attack this one next to him. All right, bonus action. You want to attack the one above him, maybe? Um, well, it's got it's the Horde Breaker, so I, they have to be within five feet, so the guy okay. literally next okay. to him. Okay, all right, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, 18 is a hit. Roll me some damage. Ooh, awesome. that's... That's a lot of damage. Yes, yes. Uh, the bandit <clears throat> screams in pain. Uh, next up is an unconscious bandit. And then Pater. Ooh, right. I think... How far did you get in six seconds? How quickly can you take your pants off? I mean, I, my blood <laughs> battle is pretty quick. Don't you know he wears, like, strap pants? Like, he can go, like... Oh. Okay. Like okay. the strappy pants. Yeah. Uh, you're wearing, I think, scale mail armor? Chain. Chain? Okay. Um, sure, Rapid go chain. for it. I'm naked? Uh, no, you're just pantsless. Your chain shirt dangles down to about your knees anyway. It's not like a chain shirt and chain pants. So okay. you just have, like, your pants around your ankles, but you're still totally armored. And I guess you can just see, like, the bottom seven inches. Then, uh... <laughs> yeah. Just... All right. I'm going to move in uh, betwixt them. I, like, shuffle over as fast mm -hmm. as I can. And I continue. I, I unleash another blood-curling. Vander Horde! <laughs> I'm going to swing up. Tell him, Is brother. <laughs> yeah. No one leader, Neil? Yeah, that guy? Which one? Wait, so the leader's not exactly clear. It's either the... The guy in the back casting spells or the guy with the big mace. One of those two is in charge. Big mace guy, then, for sure. Mm -hmm. 12 is a hit, actually. Oh, okay. The hit? Yeah, you can even add a d4 to that if you want, but uh, it's a hit either way. Okay, well, I wouldn't do any more to him, I guess. Correct. Um, wouldn't you know it, I forgot where you hit for damage. Where? It says long sword in the uh, chat. Yeah. Eight. Ooh, a nice eight damage, and the bandit, this thug guy is at less than half HP. Uh, there's a, a scream of pain, and he raises his mace, but patiently waits until his turn. Uh, Rowan. Um, I want to move 10 feet. Can I see uh, Peter? Yeah. Peter is this one? Peter, Peter is the one facing. Peter is this one. Okay. I will cast, uh, I'll cast Shield of Faith. On him, he gets two extra AC. Ooh. Oh wait, hold on, I can't. Let me. Is blessed concentration? Yes, mm. yes it is. I'm gonna cancel bless and uh, cast shield of faith on him. All right, uh, you now have plus two to your AC. The next bandit goes, and this guy is gonna come over here and give his buddy a kick in the butt to to wake him up. Um, and then how far did he go? Go for damage, I guess, right? <laughs> uh, zero damage. Um, and then is going to move over here, but he can't take an extra action. I guess he can kick a person as a bonus action. He can walk on him, maybe. It seems ridiculous that you can't wake up two people in one round. So he goes over there and wakes up the other guy. Um, 
that's his whole turn is waking them up. Uh, the guy who was just woken up kind of gets to his feet using half of his movement, sees Pater there, and makes an attack. A 13 plus... Not going to do it, Neil. Plus 3 is 16. No, definitely not. Uh, no dice there. The spellcaster in the back... <coughs> Does inflict wounds melee? Yeah, yeah, that's a touch attack spell. Yeah, I can roll um, it there. Oh, fuck. I didn't roll the text. Uh, yeah, it's yeah, touch. Uh, yeah, it's not going to do. Um, instead, he's going to cast Sacred Flame on Pater Vanderhorn. You can try your best, young man. You're going to have to make me a dexterity saving throw. You need 11 or higher on that, right. or you take d8 points of damage. I gotta Ooh, Sacred Flame misses you. Neil, you know, is there any way to Hadouken that back at him, do you think? Or is it just like a... I, I dodge it. You want, uh, Give me a willpower check. If you can score a total of 20 on a willpower check, you can Hadouken it back at him. This well, is your family's crypt, after all. These are you know, vile people taking over it. Is that wisdom, or what do you... That would be wisdom. Yeah, sorry, wisdom. Uh, mm. oof, not quite. Almost, though. Oh. Uh, the next bandit takes an attack at Pater with a total of 20 to hit, which I think hits Pater. That's exactly That's, what you need. It does hit me. Yeah. You take three points of damage from the blow. Okay. And uh, the mace-wielding feller before you takes a swing at you with a 10 to hit. No, 10 plus something. doesn't matter. It's not going to hit. Uh, and Gaston is turned. Gaston, what are you doing? Mm-hmm. Gaston will... Magic missile won't hit my friends, right? It's like super targeted magic. Totally. Okay. I will magic missile. But first, I'm going to roll d d6. <laughs> okay. All Good right. Ball. Nice. I'm doing the magic missile. Against which him? I'm going to start yeah. with the, the hurt one. So this guy. Yeah. So I'm going to send one on this guy. And I guess... Uh, are they sleeping? They're not sleeping anymore, right? Nope, they're all awake. All right, then two on this one. Okay. You that's said the one, one on I... the, the top and two on the bottom? I'm sorry. No, I on the one on this one. Okay. And two on that one. Okay, perfect. Yeah? Yep. Okay, so I click it three times, I guess? Uh, just once, and then we'll manually separate out the damage. So that's, well, that's four, four, and four. That's all max damage. Each one of them, Holy this guy shit. takes five and dies, and this guy takes ten and dies on the spot. And and I fucking scream, Gaston. Oh, I scream, for the van the horns! <laughs> I give a fist pump and look gas to him. Vanderhorns. <laughs> I didn't even stutter. I'm feeling good about myself. Yeah. Buri, it's your turn. What? Batty, Buri, Baldy? It's Boogie. Boogie. He's muted, you're, though. You're muted, though, Boogie. You gotta, you That's gotta click. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. There we go. There we go. Yeah, it's Boogie. Boogie. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm attacking... This one has this guy taken damage, or can we not see yeah. that? Uh, yes, he has taken damage. I'm sorry, his HP is not showing. No, nah. okay, yeah, yeah I'm attacking, showing. I'm attacking him. All right, 13 will hit him, he's not wearing very much armor. All right, six points of damage is bringing him a lot lower. And I'm going to horde break the uh, guy next to him. All right. He's got half cover, so I think that's minus three to hit against him. Uh, which will not hit him. Okay. Deflects off the Wait, edge. you have bless. Roll bless. Roll Ooh, before. No, bless yeah. ended. Oh, that's right. Fucking shit. God to fucking Christ. Sorry. Peter. Uh, Peter continues to wail at the man in front of him with the thing. It's 20. That'll hit him. 11 damage. That will kill him, uh, which with your special ability allows you to make a bonus action 
yeah. attack against someone else nearby. So I strike him down, it just cleaves him apart, and I like look down, Vander horns, and then I swing at the guy. <laughs> <laughs> no one messes with the Vander The guy next to me. Uh, solid seven. So, we just move it along. All right, moving along. Rowan. Um, <clears throat> let's see here. This one north of uh, Pater has been hit? Or no? Um, <laughs> no, his HP is at full. Okay, let's uh, let's go ahead and Sacred Flame him for two damage. Can I get a deck save? <laughs> you can get a deck save. Yeah, but he deck. bombs. He bombs so badly. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, I shot down the shot down the tunnel. Vanderhorn. I turn around fist bump at Vanderhorn. It's, it's echoing by the way. This is like a very tight corridor, so it's just constant <laughs> echoes of it goes like back horn, horn, horn. Echoing horn. Vanderhorn up and down the shaft. <laughs> <laughs> the two bandits are flanking Pater, which gives them advantage on their attacks. Uh, so they both roll at you. One with a 20 to hit, and the other with a 14 to hit. Uh, the 20 will deal you... Ooh. Three and... One dam uh, six and one damage is seven points of damage to you. Um, and then it is the spellcaster at the back's turn. I think he's going to point down the aisle... Ooh, range is 60 feet. How far are you guys back there? You're 90 feet. Uh oh, he's going to have to get close. Uh oh. Choose a humanoid that you can see within range. Oh, well, then he's just going to point at Peter. Uh, Peter, the Colts fanatic there, shouts at you Hold, person, hold! And you need to make me a saving throw versus spell. Uh, it's a wisdom saving throw. Or be paralyzed. Set and immediately grab hold of the person next to me. <laughs> <laughs> if you pat, if you fail your save, you can try to make a grab attack at someone as you hold and paralyze. Yes, I'm <laughs> on board good. with that. Uh, you fail your save. Perfect. So you make me a, 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 a an unarmed attack against somebody. Uh, it's a <laughs> d20 plus three, four, five. Yeah, d20 plus five. Like okay, hold. Hey, one. Oh, perfect. So as you paralyze, you reach out with your sword arm and kind of like. <laughs> hook it in the person next to you, and then freeze solidly. All he can hear is through clenched teeth. Vander <laughs> It's a Vander The Vander hold. Gaston, it's your turn. Uh, uh-huh. Well, I liked Magic Missile, so I'm going to keep doing that. It's How my last spells? one. Okay. It's my Only last one. Six. Of oh, level one spell. It's my last level one spell. Okay. Roll me a d6 as you stutter your way Yeah, d6. d6. Okay. My magic missile! Um, and how are you distributing those? Are they oh, all against sorry, one? Oh, sorry, I didn't say. Uh, <laughs> I'll do two against this one that's right next to uh, Peter and one... It's not clicking. Two against this one, and one against that one. Okay, so two against Peter, one against the guy. No! Above. Oh, it's because of the text. Yeah, Peter's oh, the, the one in the middle. Two against this one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go all three into Peter. <laughs> all right. You kill the guy below Peter and deal four damage to the one above Peter. Um, and it is Boogie's turn. Um... Okay, so first I want to move. Let's mm -hmm. see. That's 10, 20. What do I get? 30? Yep. 20, 30. I think that's right. Excellent. <clears throat> okay, and I want to shoot this guy in the back here. <laughs> you can shoot him in the front. <laughs> Not like no, he's in the in back of the back. formation. He's yeah. in the back, yeah, the, in the back. Oh, of the, got it, got it. Got like, it. Him in his back. This is not the new Assassin's Creed. <laughs> Neely he doesn't have arrow flight. It's a, it's, it's like on, a boomerang it's brand, shot. Right Neil, there. Like the boomerang Boom. shot. You hit him. Nine. Ooh, good damage there. Um, whole person is not concentration, is it? 
Uh, he has to make a saving uh, throw at the end of concentration. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 So he's got to make a DC, I want to say like 19. Is that how it works? Uh, it's a little it bit a... lower than that. It's a lot lower than that. There might be a spell save DC. I'll look it up real quick. Yeah. He roll. It's a con save, right? Yeah. Um, he rolls a 17 on his con save. I just don't remember if it's I think like that's 10 a success. plus the damage or if it's just the damage that you take that you need to pass. Uh, <clears throat> I think he just passed it because it was a con save. And that's it. It's, just... it's not based on the amount of damage you take? Correct. I'm okay. looking it up right now. Whenever you take okay. damage, uh, saving throw, maintain the DC is equals 10 or half the damage you take, whichever the number is higher. Okay, cool. He totally passes. No problem. Um, and then it's Pater's turn. You are held, but at the end of your turn, you get to make another wisdom saving throw that needs to be 11 or higher to pass. All right. He will, again, focus real deep this time. 18. So he, like, he starts to shudder a little bit, and then he rips out of it and says, Vander Horns! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, this time the Vander Horns, plural. Rowan. Is that what you the get horn. when you mess with the bull? <laughs> when, you, when you mess with the horns. When I, uh, when I hear Peter shout, I don't know, Vander Horns. <laughs> I'm going to take a... Uh, you know, it's important to note too that when you arch your back and you're only wearing a chainmail shirt, it does pull up as you arch back. Please. <laughs> fully you know what? The cultist will make another concentration saving throw as he's mildly <laughs> distracted by what's going on here. Uh, no, he continues to pass. That's okay. fine. Uh, I will uh, healing word as a bonus action on Pater. Uh, he gets four HP. Right. And then I will uh, Sacred Flame uh, the cultist. All right. The cultist hey, fails miserably, takes eight points of damage, and dies screaming. Mm -hmm. It's just the, the one in the back with the spells, and you can see his hands are beginning to shake a little bit. Give <laughs> us back our gold! <laughs> No, it's, it's ours. It's our gold. For too long, your people have been uh, terrorizing the people of Gate Isle. Your, your taxes, your, your carnage. My six Ew. seconds are up. I can't keep speaking. As um, he says that, I interrupt <laughs> and I go, you said ours. And that is the plural for a number of people. And if you look around... There ain't that many. You should have said mine, but you misspoke because your friends are dead. Pink household person at you again. Make me another saving throw. Yeah. <laughs> me, and Boogie, me and Boogie just not... Vanderhorn. <laughs> <laughs> I love how, like, the whole story were these, like, taxing nobles, but we're acting like, <laughs> like these rednecks, like Vanderhorn. <laughs> we're supposed to be, like, taxing the land and the countryside. <laughs> You can't. Yes. <laughs> yes, Don, it's your turn. Pater's been held again. Uh, all right. Oh, well, I guess I'll firebolt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can I move some? I can, right? Up yeah. to 30 feet. Yes, I'm going to move 30 feet because I feel like I don't want to shoot on someone. So I'm going to, like... Can I... I guess so. Do I need... Will I shoot my friend if I shoot? No, him? it's fine. We're okay. playing 5th edition. 5th edition, we're nice yeah. here. Alright, then I'll I cast Firebolt. Mm, it hits. You gotta, you gotta roll that a d6 first. You can't just definitely. Oh, first. yeah. You're thanks, right. Thanks, Brian. Thanks. I, mean, I like to see what happens. I want to see the chaos. Nope. <laughs> good. You're good. Uh, I, I heal him. <laughs> <laughs> I revive all of his dead friends. Roll me that damage. <laughs> you rise from the grave. Three. Ah, oh, damn it! Does he catch right, some fire in you? Uh, DC ten saving throw, which he passes. Uh, he does he catch fire? I does cast he... third degree burns, Neil. <laughs> <laughs> A flammable object hit by the spell ignites if it isn't being worn or carried. No, uh, oh. his clothes do. If you attacked the clothes, but not him. They would set on fire, but if you attack... Oh, Nick, Neil, Neil, I didn't know fire. that. Can I attack the clothes? Like, 
I, I'm down to remove the three fire damage from okay, him and then apply you're it to the. You have to re roll your uh, wild surge table again. Yeah, I, that. I think it's a fair assessment. Okay. All right, okay. give me another d6. Well, all right. You attack his clothes, they nice. catch fire. His robes <laughs> begin to. That's which which, which yeah. part of his. Uh, <laughs> robes did you target the bottom the, the top? bottom part yeah i felt right. it would be a good like equal fighting chance you know okay the robes at the bottom begin to burn uh barney it's your turn <clears throat> it's barney and i go F -f 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 fire <laughs> <laughs> let's go for bernie <laughs> bernie with a bu these people Purposely mispronouncing Vanderhorn name. <laughs> Come it's on, Ber Bernie. <laughs> Ber Bernie does ten damage. Uh, yeah. Bernie most certainly does. Uh, the person in the back is not doing so well. Pater, make me another wisdom saving throw. I'm a rip. Oh wait, hold on. He needs a, another. The other guy needs a saving throw, which he passes. That's fine. Um, uh, you wow. go for it. I, I rip out of it again. I, I start shaking and staring, and this time I go... <laughs> Vanderhorns! Again. <laughs> All right, Rowan. You can't keep a Vanderhorn down. That's that's right, Peter. Vanderhorns. Uh, <laughs> Vanderhorns. <laughs> I'm going to sacred flame that guy. Uh, for two damage. <laughs> you see 13 save is a pass. Two damage. Down. I'm, I'm going to move up to a... I feel like this last name was designed to like denote prestige. <laughs> it is. <laughs> We're like Vanderhorn. All right, it's the fanatic's turn. Uh, screaming, he runs into the water and puts out the fire on his robes. Oh no! Uh, points a finger at Pater one more time no. and says, "Hold, person, hold!" Son of a bitch. I never passed this roll. No, I didn't. Oh, oh you got there. it. <clears throat> um, so you, you and uh, he goes, uh, uh, Neil, you got me. Neil, I had duking it back at him. Oh, I suppose you do. I actually rolled uh, a 20. How does it look? How, how do you deflect this <clears throat> old person spell? Well, there's this, you know, the chaos of battle going on, obviously. He, he looks at me. And he says, hold person. And I'm, I'm still in the midst of my blood-curdling Vanderhorn call. <laughs> and it just literally bounces off my chest. Like, you can just see, like, the, the heat wave of the power. And it hits him back. And, and then I, like, focus in and go, you hold person. <laughs> no, you. <laughs> no, you. <laughs> no, you hold uh, He Vanderhorn. freezes in place. Uh, missing. Uh, his turn's over. Gaston. Your turn. Nice. I, I would like to firebolt his clothes. No, Gaston. <laughs> wait. This wait, wait. Time. Just his clothes. <laughs> no, not even his clothes. This man made me hold person twice. He tried to make me get naked. It's I feel too... violated. There's only one way to do justice. In uh, I, I sent the firebolt at his clothes anyway. All right. You set his clothes the, on the, the upper part. part this time, because the bottom part, I assume, is burnt out. And He's also standing so. in water, so I'm, I'm, I'm thinking he won't die from my firebolt of like burning his clothes, but I think it will be like it'll give him a, look, a good look. All right, his clothes catch fire once more. Does his hair catch fire as well? Oh, we'll get there. It takes a little while for these things to burn. Oh no, D six. Wait. <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh -oh. Oh, 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 wait. Yes. Oh. Don't burn away. Oh, 97. Oh, no. <laughs> Displacer based. Go Vanderhorn. ahead, Neil. You are Neil, you can read this. I'm, you I'm surrounded. are surrounded by faint ethereal music for the next minute. <laughs> so it's yeah, it's exactly that, but it's like the slight horns of the vendor horns. It's like What do you guys do? It's it's sun. This was supposed to happen. Our ancestors go, go, are calling go, out to us, go, Peter. Go, Peter. Go, go. Go. We have the, the ethereal music of the horns with us. I can't hear you. <laughs> oh, <my> God. <laughs> God. 
Please. <laughs> Peter. He's out in the forest messing with the bag. <laughs> what happened? You got like, you got music. <laughs> oh, oh, Vanderhorn. Peter. Peter, end him. I'm going to end it. Oh, I just swing at the guy. Give me some bonus. No. Fucking stand. <laughs> you miss. No, I get advantage. He's standing still. No, you're right. Give me another. Oh, yeah, you hit. <laughs> 11. Dead. No, he's still at one. God damn it. Uh, he also gets to make a save at the end of his turn. Actually, no, he has to first might lose concentration on that attack, <laughs> uh, which he doesn't. And then at the end of his turn, he does pass the save. Um, so he kind of oh, comes back. What about the fire on his clothes? Didn't I uh, shoot the fire, or did it the... Uh... You did shoot the fire. It will continue to burn on your next okay. turn. Uh, but it's Rowan's turn, and the music ends about right now, I guess. Aww. There's only one thing we can do here. I need a save. <laughs> 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 he fails it, and the cult fanatic oh. goes up in flames. <sighs> Falls backwards into the water. And puts the flames out, but he's dead. There's some like... symbolism here. You go to the and try to take our fucking treasure, and guess what happens? Music pops up, swords hit you in the teeth, and you burn up. That's right. Now let's check the bodies. They were stealing our gold. Uh, yes, you find the bodies stuffed with various coins. Now. These coins are marked. They are the, the coins that you put under the tongue of the dead in order to help, you know, set them off into the next life properly. Um, these are the coins that they've literally gone grave by grave, opened up the faces and, like, pulled the coins out and then tucked them into their pockets. Um, and then there is also a, a chest sitting on the, the edge of the, the pool of water. Rowan. A lot of these ancestors were buried with those coins a long time ago. Do you reckon they already spent the coin and therefore don't need it no more? Or well, you know, you know this. <laughs> your own ancestors. Listen, uh, you know the story how it works. They put the coin under the tongue, and then when they arrive at the gates, it's to lift their tongue so they can pronounce Vanderhorn at the gates, and then they let them in. So of course they've already used it. <laughs> So I see no reason why we can't combine the, the conjointed cost of the canoe with these coins and make for ourselves a bit of a fortune. Yes, no, I think you're right. We take them. We take them. Hey, uh, Bernie, go and collect them all. It's Brandy, and I, I let me check out the, the bodies. Yeah, I'll take it's them not all. Brandy, your name, you're a... <laughs> <laughs> Don't call a guy Brandy. <laughs> to be fair, this is the mid 1500s, so the times are a changing, is what Pa would always say as well as one of his parabellums. That's true. By the way, I I start collecting the coins while still doing the because at the start it was Neil representing the ethereal like music, but after that it just stuck in my head and Gaston just keeps like doing the melody and he's like. Fur, fur, fur. Now, we might have to come to the harsh realization that Gaston could be too far off because I've seen it when Daddy when Daddy had old Bessie, you know, the family calf, and it started to lick its own backside. We knew that its time had come. Is it time for Gaston? Well, God, I hated that noise when it was licking itself. We are in the family crypt, so if Gaston's got to go, we're here. I mean, this is one of those situations. We're already I'm, I'm okay, guys. We can put him in that canoe. Bury See, him now he's it. not talking in tongues, and I'm not even sure that's him, because earlier when we are fighting the goblins, he disappears and reappears, and now he's got music around him. Now that's a sensible conclusion. I don't... Gaston, are you are who you say you are? Of course I am, G Gaston. Have give you us your give us your best Vanderhorn. I was just gonna say, have you heard him say Vanderhorn? <laughs> Vanderhorn. Well, <laughs> when he says it, it sounds like one of those people from the France land up north. 
Yeah. Or is it east? I don't know. I, I'm not a map person. <laughs> Brandy, you know the maps. I do. Of the outdoors. I'm not really so good on the indoors. <laughs> well, if we have to go outside and look at the map, I reckon we should do that. Because right now... We're trying to talk about whether or not Gaston is himself or some kind of singing demon. And there is a tiny demon army that may or may not have gone to heat stroke, <laughs> killed our parents. Well, hold on. Gaston's he's, he's uh, at the chest. Gaston, what? <laughs> we, we should open that, that chest. Maybe the magical weapons are in there. The demon wants to get our weapons. That's the first thing they would do if they were Listen, here. I, I mean, we're, I'm here for the bow. How do you know there's bow in there? Well, Grandma told me. <laughs> you she listen. did. I heard at, the, at the table this morning. Well, right. go ahead and open it, Gaston. If that is who you are. <laughs> I, I, I side eye uh Peter Vanderhorn. <laughs> Vanderhorn. I, I cast Mage Hand and with it I open the chest. Alright. Give me a And I go like and I go oh. No, I go tur, 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 tur. Hey, you, give, me that, give me that D six there. Oh okay, I'm good. Fine. Uh, the chest opens, and inside you see it's just kind of like a bunch of teeth that have gold fillings and a couple of coins here or there. And it says, Here lies Nos. <laughs> that was a really bad It's a rap artist. I know, that's a terrible <laughs> joke. Uh, it's, it's a oh, joke. God, it's getting late. <laughs> Uh, Gaston, what'd you find in there? Golden teeth. It's like old cousin <laughs> <laughs> Oh god! Golden teeth. Listen, I'm not Golden feathers, but teeth do not make a bow. Make them. <sighs> Well, if I recall correctly, they usually kept the weapon heirlooms in the back room. How do you Let's just thought of searching in the back room, did you? Yeah. We need to check the back room, the back entrance. Okay. okay. You guys scour the tomb and very quickly find that that back entrance behind a statue, you know, the secret door has been busted open. And the room that contains the stored treasure and weapons has been completely looted already. Except for the bow, my god. <laughs> All the other weapons, so. <laughs> this is something strangely upsetting, because I reckon we got about an hour to resolve this whole damn thing. <laughs> there ain't no weapons in here. I don't well, know. give or take. Uh, there's still that ship in the harbor with the symbol of the uh, eclipse on it. Same as the ships that had sailed by. I don't know that we saw that ship, though, because we were <clears throat> sails, right? Um, no, I, I just saw it. You think so? Yeah, I, I know so. I think right. we've been lured by the promise of false treasure. Well, now... I, cast, I cast Detect Magic, Neil, to see if I find the... Okay. While they talk, I'm doing the ritual here. You detect no magic left in the room. What about the corpse of the guy? Not magical. I look through his uh, leftover things. Uh, you find a symbol. like a, It's like a holy symbol, but it's not of any god you've ever seen before. On it is the face of a minotaur. Uh, and there's like a, a battle axe imposed behind it. Is this the god of the goat people? I think so. It must be. I didn't know goat people had a god. I just kind of reckon they were goats, but like people. Mm -hmm. I take the thingy and put it in my pocket and I go, well, I don't see any magical items over here. Let's go. Go. Oh, I am bummed. 
Right. Rowan, when Daddy used to say, there's someone out there for everyone, did he mean that there are people combined with animals of all different kind of mixture? I think he included those in his saying. I believe those are on Scrub Isle. That's what... Uh, <laughs> no, I've never seen such a thing. I've just heard tales. That's what Bella well, grew I... up with, with those uh, animal people. <laughs> you mess around enough with some goats, and some goat people will come out of that deal, is what I understand it to be. <laughs> Makes sense. Life just finds a way. That's what to say. <laughs> All right. You guys exit the tomb. <laughs> Uh, you see the town of Sarachar in front of you, still smoldering from the wreckage. And there in the harbor, kind of drifting back and forth a bit, is one of those ships that you had saw going kind of southeast in between Scrub Isle and the Darton Plain. Um, and it's just floating out there in the harbor. Now look, it could be on the boat, or, and this is just a theory, we could check around behind the crypt and make sure they didn't stash it behind us and then go back to the front, walk through the, the, the front entrance or the magical door. Cause we still don't know that. I don't know if magical door exists, but have you checked? No. Then how do we know nothing? I don't know. <clears throat> You're right. I'm still they not sure that that's not a bunch of people just smoking over there though. The point to the smoke. <laughs> <laughs> now look, the way I figures it, if it is a bunch of people smoking, in order to make a smoke cloud like that, you're talking about two, three, four hundred people. Well, hold on. Now, you know we only have 750. <laughs> There's no way that all those people would come from the other parts of the island 750 on the dot the only time that happens is during the summer when everyone goes over to gator beach i don't think that i don't think that's people smoking so we've ruled it we've ruled out smoking the gates love gator beach that's for sure All well right. let's go back to the canoe and see if we can paddle across okay well, it's not a land canoe. You got to get it in water. Well, it's right next to the water. <laughs> All right. Are you just making? Is that? Is that you or Peter seeing you making assumptions like that's a land canoe or water canoe? Without doing the proper scientific research. Do you know what he'd say? He'd say, "Buggy, you've been living up in a tree too long." <laughs> mm. You've been on that damn scrub aisle too long. That's what he'd say. You've been up in a tree. You haven't been paying attention to the canoes. We should test it. Test it on land. Test it in the water. First thing someone said since I asked about the magic door probably about an hour ago. We should test the magic door. I start doing the ritual of detect magic over here, Neil. Yeah, Dawn might actually be gone, you guys. It's hard to... <laughs> I don't know where you're doing this ritual, Jen. <laughs> At the door of the thing. Aren't we outside now? <laughs> yeah, yeah. There, there's no magic Rude. out front of the crypt either. The it's most main thing we could do is probably just close them in there. <laughs> even Vanderborn. with our family. The <clears throat> yeah. Well, he's got those coins. He put them under his teeth. He'll say, speak the word. He'll get through. He's got more than he could buy. He could buy entry for a bunch of people. It's true. He could open up a business over there for all I know. Probably better than one. <laughs> this goes on for a while, Neil. Eventually, <laughs> yeah. on the idea that we should probably check out the boat. Yeah. So we push the canoe into the water. Yeah. Well, do you guys test it first to see if it's a land canoe? We did. We flip that's, it over on the land and stare at it for a bit. Well, that's gosh damn land. <laughs> All right. I told you it was a water canoe. So you take the canoe down to the water, down to the the beach, and then you're going to put it in the water and go where? Towards the boat. Well, I think. I don't oh, okay. know what you're asking. It makes it sound like what our plan is is stupid, but we're heading. I didn't know where you were headed. I don't know what your main objective was. There's sails on a boat, and I'm thinking, he points it out like that, that we have to head towards the sails, which is going to be tough because you can't make eye contact with it, but we're going to do the best we can. Brother, I stared at him earlier and 
You can make eye contact with them. Well, that's news to me. I suppose we can do it then. Yep. Can you hear the the wind sails and are all? The sails? <laughs> I don't even know. How to, I just kind of look at you, and it's quiet, and we hear the wind. Well, do you hear wind? Because you're hearing the I wind right now. Listen carefully. Thunder. <laughs> I, t- I turn quickly. Do you hear that? I did. The swish of your clothes. <laughs> All right, well, we got to get our uh, magical weapon. Throw on that boat. Okay. Um, you guys go down towards the town through the smoldering ruins of the town uh, and realize that the boat is actually docked. It's at the end of a pier. Um, you do have the canoe in tow behind you, of course. Is this the canoe right here? Yes, I've added <clears throat> it to the map for you. <clears throat> Great. Look, look up on that dock, guys. There's oh, right an here. injured man on the dock. It's a silly He's question, but that is a water canoe, right? Make me an intelligence check. <laughs> no, we just carried it. We, <laughs> we carried it across the water. Holy fuck. All right, it's definitely a water canoe. Yes. Nice. Um, so, yeah, here you are. You see this. You see the ship. But you also see this weird person standing, <clears throat> like, on the, the like... gangplank to the ship. It looks like someone that has been stitched together by various other body parts. And it's kind of like bleeding from some of these sections. And there's like a wound in its chest and like a a spot out of its leg. Um, There are some villagers nearby that kind of one of them pokes his head out one of the the doors nearby and whispers to you, don't go down there. Why not? They'll kill you. They kill anyone Those else? Those are Maribel's marauders. They're here to steal everything. Jesus, do you even know who we are? <laughs> I, I have no idea who you are. We're the goddamn Vanderhorns. <laughs> Peter, let's go. <laughs> no, they're going for your home. <laughs> they're headed to Saramar. I walk right up to the scabby man. I go, listen here, booger butt. Uh, he says as we roll for initiative. You talk about as good as my dig grampy. <laughs> Uh, let's take a break before we start the fight. To. We'll roll some initiative, right. so let's roll initiative. <clears throat> also, did we rest before this happened or no? Nope, no one has taken a short rest. All right, I got one spell. It's applied, Neil. I got one spell and one dream. Uh, who else needs to roll initiative? Oh, me. <clears throat> oh, Ryan added a roll to 15, if, 14 rather, if you want to add it. that. <clears throat> and a 9 for Jim, if you want to add that. Uh, let's take our final break while you're adding that stuff and we'll get started with this fight uh, right after this. We'll be right back as we wrap up this one shot. See you in just a bit. <laughs> 